Hey y'all, it's Joe, just Joe. And today is um, new to me Monday, which means palettes that I haven't used yet, not necessarily a new release, just new to me. If you would like, comment, and subscribe below, and let's just get into the video. So I've already done my base and my eyebrows and my eye primer. I use the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas, the Pure 4 in 1 Love Your Selfie in MN3, the It Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. I used the Milk Makeup Bronzer in Baked with the Laura Geller Baked Bronze and Brighten in Medium. I used the ColourPop Stick Blush in Under Pressure, um, the Tarte Clay Blush in Quirky. My highlight of the day is Fenty Beauty Metal Moon. I used the Ofra Makeup Fixer Spray. I used the Wonder Beauty Clear Brow Gel, Urban Decay's Brow Blade, and Brunette Betty, and Gerard Canvases. Gerard Cosmetics Clear Canvas. And today I want to play with the Sephora Pro Palette. This is the front of the package. This is the back. Let's open her up. This is what the palette's outside looks like. And the back, which says it is a Pro Pigment Editorial 2.0. And these are my colors. I do think I'm going to do a cut crease today. So let's get right into the video. I'm just going to take a medium sized dense kind of, no, I think it's a little fluffier brush. And I'm going to go right into Pegasus, this light blue. And I'm just going to do that in the crease and slightly above. There's a tad bit of fallout or a kick up, no fallout yet. It's a very pretty shade. I'm super tired today, but can't take a nap because Nikki Tutorial's palette comes out at uh, 12 o'clock my time. which is a few hours away. I'm pretty excited. I don't know if I've ever said this on YouTube, but when I started watching YouTube, I was still pretty depressed about being disabled. And I had tried several things and not come up with any kind of hobby, which was depressing me more. And I came across Nikki Tutorials, just a regular old makeup tutorial. And I started watching her and I kept watching another video and then another video. And I thought, you know, maybe I can do this. And I always wore just like, um, mascara and some lip gloss, and that was about it. So, I uh, went and got some Juvia's Place palettes, and really enjoyed putting makeup on my face. It really calmed me. So, I am super excited. I mean, so excited that she's come out with a palette. I have all her highlighters and things, and I never got the Too Faced palette because that was before I got into makeup and obviously that was a wreck. So 
but I'm so excited that she collaborated with Beauty Bay. Now, I got my, my, my Mitchell's palette, and I love it, and supposedly Nikki's palette is supposed to be the same formula, so I'm pretty, pretty excited. I'm going to go into this kind of dark green-blue shade called Coven, and I'm going to really push that in the eye socket area. Are y'all going to get the Nikki Tutorials palette? You can comment that down below. Or do you want to get it? I know sometimes we want to get things, but money-wise, it's just not a, a, a choice at the moment. I've been there a lot. Although makeup calms me and is a big therapy for me, you still have to make bills before makeup. I mean, it's just the obvious choice. Adulting, not always fun. I'm going to take that original brush. No more product. We'll just blend that into the other color. We have had so much rain lately that my back is just not recovering. I really want that nap, but I'm scared if I take a nap, I'll miss the launch. Uh, for sure don't do that, because it's limited edition. Well, they say it's limited edition. I'm going to pull my hair back a little bit. Let's see. I'm going to get my Essence Eye Base and cut the crease. This eye base is in, it just says eyeshadow base. Oh, here it is. I-E, A-E-A-I, -E -I, I guess is how you pronounce it. And I'm just going to go in and cut the crease. I'm going to cut the whole crease today. Just do the other eye. Gonna get a concealer brush and kind of clean, go through and make that a cleaner line. I'm making a mess today. Arms a little shaky today, so part of my disability means I shake a little bit. So sometimes when I'm doing this, it gets a little out of control. But that's okay. It's makeup. It's not that serious. I'm just trying to cut that crease so I have a a solid base to put my next color on. Alright. Let's see. What color do we want to go with? I think I want to go with this purple shimmer right here, Fairy. And I was going to get a pretty dense Rush for that, a smaller one. I'm just gonna pack that on. It's a little fallout or kick up in the pan. I like to kind of get a clean line 
And then I don't mind going in with my finger. And go back to coven and just kind of go in above that, make that a little darker. And then my original brush and blend the outside. Uh-oh, I think my ring light overheated. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. My ring light did overheat, so we're just going to finish this up. I'll come a little closer. I'm going to get that same purple shade fairy. And try to do a clean line on that side. I do apologize about the ring light. I don't have it in the best plug. I need to get an extension cord in here, so I'm going to put it in another plug. Then I'm going to take Coven and darken up that crease. And I'm going to take that baby blue and go underneath. I'm going to take, <clears throat> excuse me, coven and just go on the outside here for a little dimension. I'll take the original brush and kind of smoke that out. And I didn't grab my mascara. I'm going to use the Lash Princess by Essence. It's waterproof. I'm grab my mirror. This mascara is only four to five dollars. Usually, you get it on sale also, and I uh, absolutely love it. It's a really good drugstore mascara. Get my bottom lashes. And all that's left is my lips. So I'm going to go into Smashbox in the color Bad. Then I'm gonna put a little Jeffree Star mannequin in the center. And that's the finished look. I hope that y'all enjoyed the video. I hope that you're safe. I hope you're making good decisions. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.